it's Friday night. It's seven o'clock. What you cooking? What you cooking? Hey, boo. Hey, welcome to Friday night. It's Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen live. I'm your host, Carla Renee. Let's get cooking good looking. Um, as um as you know, folks are coming in, I, I have to remark um how much I love this weather. Ooh, how much I love being inside. This is cuddle bug weather. Ooh. Hey, Anita. <laughs> oh my gosh. I had such a good time. We, we were snowed in a couple of days. And when I tell you, I, mm, I, I rode the line between glee and sorrow for people that were up having to walk the dogs, take them out and you know, all of that. I was like, oh gosh, as much as I miss Kodo. Uh, I'm so glad that wasn't me. Hey, Lisa. <laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome to the show. It's Sugar Pro Studio Kitchen Live. Thank you for tuning in. Go ahead and um, hold on. Let me um, exit out of this. So, um, I, I don't know what's happening with my um, streaming platform, but anyway, I've got two cameras again. So, hey, <laughs> we're on my main page, which is Carla Renee. That's me. Hey. And then uh, we're also on my Sugar Pearls page, which is S-U-G-A-R-P-E-A-R-L-S uh, or right there. Uh-huh. There it is. Um, and YouTube, we are streaming live on YouTube. So thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Share if you want to share. We here for a good time, not a long time tonight. Because I want to get back to, to my cuddle bug with it. I got movies going. Um, I got fruit and snacks and stuff. Mm. Okay. This has been a week. This has been a week. I didn't realize what a what a week it had been until I had my therapy session yesterday. And it just mm, it all just came out. Therapy is going well, by the way. I don't miss. I love it. Hey, Johnny, I don't miss, um, it, like, my head exploded yesterday. It was, it, like, my eyes opened, light bulbs went off, all of that, all of that stuff that happens. It happened in therapy yesterday. So I was glad I was able to go to a place and begin to heal. I knew that when, you know, I'm gonna I'm a go back to that again, I'm gonna touch on it in the end, but I knew when I started the journey that, you know, there were gonna be days that I didn't feel like doing it. I don't wanna do the practice. I don't want to talk about it. You know, I knew there were gonna be days that I might feel like that. Hey, Kay. Hey, cousin. Hey, Antoinette. Okay, oven's hot. Um, here for a good time, not a long time tonight. All right. We're doing steak Rockefeller. All right. I'm calling it steak Rihanna. I'm gonna go back to the therapy later. Okay. But let, let's get into the recipe in a little bit. Let me tell you what's going on. So we're doing a steak. I'm calling it steak Rihanna because so Rock the, the whole Rockefeller concept, you know, um, came from New Orleans. Okay. So um it was named Rockefeller because when it came about during that time, Rockefeller was like the richest man in the world. Well, I'm calling mine steak Rihanna because she is the richest woman of color in the world. 
I do believe. I think she still has that record, right? If not, then Rihanna, you're it to me. But I do believe that she is the richest woman of color in the world. Or in the country. Or in the world. Um, so it's stick Rihanna tonight. And it's gonna be a little bit saucy. Cause we all, you know, zhuzh it up look like a It's not a classic Rockefeller. All right. It's a Rihanna. Okay. It's a Rihanna. Um, I'll, I'll tell you more about therapy toward the end, but I got to say, um, this week, Hey Kelly. Mwah. Hey Marietta. Y'all, I'm so glad y'all are tuning in. I expected people to be like me. I put on lashes for you tonight. Okay. And not only did I put on lashes, I said there ain't no need in, in being demure about it. I put on the longest, most obnoxious pair of lashes I have. Um, because I was like, you know what? Life is short. Life is short. Uh, which brings me to this point. And then we're going to get into the recipe. Honey, have we not lost some legends already in 2022? When did 2022 start? Yesterday, already, um, of course, I found time because um, I was just feeling, I, I just, I missed his art. So I, I cuddled up with Sidney Poitier one night uh, with Lilies of the Field. <sighs> it was so nice. It was so nice. And just to like, you know, I don't care how many times I see lilies of the field with um Sidney Poitier you always see something like he has these subtle nuances um and little pieces of you know goodies like little trail of breadcrumbs that he leaves and you get to see different crumbs every time you watch him in any one of his films so um I just wanted to like do that i also oh my god it's my sister bev hey bev oh bev and linda i love y'all i love all of y'all thank y'all so much um thanks for keeping me company on this cold night um but yeah that's why we're here for a, a good time not a long time tonight because we don't know what the weather gonna do i don't know if we're gonna lose power so we're gonna make this you know purposeful tonight um and then I watched um, the Gospel of Andre, according to Andre. Uh huh, uh huh. From North Carolina, Andre Leon Talley. Yes. Uh, if you haven't seen it, it's it's been out for a while. Um, check it out, please check it out. Andre Leon Talley's story. It is so freaking magnificent. <laughs> That's the best way to say it. Like his journey from Jim Crow, North Carolina to where he landed and the places that he got to weave in and out of. Oh my goodness. So he, uh, Andre Leon Talley passed away at 73 this week. And, you know, you you see this giant of a man, or at least we have, you know, seen him do his commentary, honey, when it comes to fashion. And hey, Scott. <laughs> hey, Nicole. Oh, love y'all. Miss y'all. And just to hear um, him tell his story, that's, that's what you get in the gospel, according to Andre. Please watch it. It's so good. It's so good. I may watch it again. It was that good. All right. We're getting started with a steak Rihanna. Now, this is my take on a, a Rockefeller sauce somewhat. It's more like a dip. Um, Rockefeller, when this Rockefeller concept came about, that was the richest man, you know, in the world, I believe. Well, <laughs> I'm embracing the melanated. Rihanna is, I do believe, if my stats aren't wrong, the richest woman of color. 
I think in the world. I think in the world. Okay. Anywho, I'm dedicating this to her. Okay. Um, now the thing about the dip is I had to start most of it already. So it's not going to take that long. Um, but we got a skillet going in here. We're going to get that nice and hot. I got my steak out. I've had it sitting out at room temperature for about 30 minutes or so, which is good. You don't want to put a super cold steak on the skillet. In this case, we're using a skillet because I want this skillet to go in the... Hey! <laughs> hey, we got... I want this steak to be coming in hot, 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 all right? So we need a nice smoking skillet because it's going in the oven also, all right? We we getting ready to do cuddle things mm -hmm. by my lonesome with some good movies and just like, mm, my vibe is bomb in here. I just need for you to know. <laughs> Honey, yes, it is. All right, let's get our... This is the start of the Rihanna dip, okay? So we've got, I'm a, I had to write it down, so we'll type it out so I can have it. And that way I can post it maybe tomorrow or Sunday. All right. Um, it won't be tomorrow. We're supposed to have rehearsal tomorrow, Mika. I, I mean, unless you tell me otherwise, I, I do what thou, thou sayest. Um, so, y'all, my director is on watching. <laughs> Remember I told you I was doing a short film? Honey, the writer is Mika Green. One, Mika. <laughs> One of these Fridays, I didn't want to ask you while you're doing, hey, Pearls. <laughs> yes. Oprah in the U.S. and in the world. A lady in Africa, you think? But what list did they put Rihanna on the other thing? You know what? These lists come up so fast. Rihanna, you still a, a, a megawatt billionaire in my eye. <laughs> but thank you for that, Johnny. <laughs> Honey, come correct. Come correct. That's right. Um, I love you too. So my director, Mika, Mika Green, I am chosen entertainment. Mm. <laughs> hey, let me tell you. So, um, we're rehearsing via Zoom and, you know, whenever we can in person. And when I tell you the feeling of being a part of a cast again and, you know, doing that work and learning lines and, oh, that it, it was like I got bit all over again. I got bitten all over again one of these fridays we're gonna have to have mika tell you about her play that is being turned into a film hello mm. something that's been a very long time coming for her i want her to tell you in her words how the story came about my mother's prayer and just this journey this journey when you hear her story you're yeah, yeah. You, you'll be as enamored as I. <laughs> okay. All right. So we get a hot skillet going. I've got my oven um, on 400. It's on bait, but I've got it on 400 because when it leaves here, I don't want it to cool down. I want to keep it kind of high so it can bake through as much as mm, I'll see. I'll see how much I'll live. Y'all know I ain't going to stay that long now. You know that. You cook it to, I say medium rare or, or medium. Okay. Um, so our skillet is getting hot. We're going to turn this down just a little bit. I'm going to add, oh yeah, this is an Angus ribeye that we're going to cut. So let me show you. All right. So this is it. Okay. Just to show you that. All right, this is one ribeye. Um, make sure you get it at an inch thick. OK, 
okay, inch thickness, because we're going to cut half. We'll cut it open because then we got to fill it with our stuff, okay? So leave it out to rest before you put it in. So don't, don't let the meat be cold when you put it on the thing, okay? Let me wash my hands again. All right. Um, if you're watching this video right now and you ain't sharing with nobody, you stingy. Mm. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Dr. Luck is one of the richest. Forgive me as well. Oh, okay. Look at that. I let me tell you. I love when y'all start and corrections and you know work cited and stuff i love it <laughs> hmm. keep me together all right so let me tell you what's in the rihanna dip that's going inside our state we've got um first i took a packet of spinach and i cooked it down with just a little bit of grapeseed oil and some salt um i got all the water out as much as i can and then i diced it very fine hey cousin that's larry y'all what's up larry so i diced the um spinach very finely there it's at the bottom then i've got a little parmesan fine ground okay i i put it in my blender right here and i ground it up really fine and powdery um i sauteed some onions and then when the onions were just translucent, I added like a half a stick of butter and just let it melt, okay? Pull that all through in a bowl. I've got garlic powder in here, basil. This is not garlic powder. I have no powder spices in here. I have garlic paste, garlic paste, okay? So I've got garlic paste, prob that's probably about two cloves. And then I've got some basil. Now, to this, this needs to be cool. Okay. I'll, that's why I had to start it early. Because um, we're going to add some chili flakes to this. Now, you know, how do we activate the heat? Now, we rub it between our palms. Okay. Rub it, rub it. It's not a whole lot, but, you know, as much as you want. I want just a little touch of heat, okay? So, I shrimp Rihanna, <laughs> shrimp Rihanna, I'm looking at shrimp. We got the um, Parmesan in there. Now, to that, we're going to add, where's my spoon? Let's add this one. Some cream cheese. This, I'm not going to add a whole stick, but that's a significant amount. Now, what makes this Rockefeller and how it originated in new, new what makes it new orleans is the liquor that's in it okay there's no liquor in this one okay there is white wine um i took about a cup of white wine maybe like three-fourths of a cup and then i let it reduce just to burn the alcohol off but i've got white wine then i added a touch of lemon juice okay all right but in new orleans when this was invented um there's absinthe okay hey mo <laughs> there's absinthe in this now you ain't gonna hardly find no like legitimate absinthe around these days um but the the note that you're trying to get with the liqueur that's added if you want is that kind of licorice under note okay like you have in an absinthe if you don't have absinthe, you may be able, if you if you got a good grocery store near you with um that might sell like nice cooking wines and sherries and things, um, see if they've got Pernod, P-E-R-N-O-D. Now, if they've got Pernod, that's perfect. You don't need the absinthe. Um, and then you just kind of cook it off. Now I added all, we don't want this super stiff, but we want it, oh, and breadcrumbs. I didn't add a lot because I don't want it bready, but I do want a binder. Okay, so just a few, I like that much, that much. I didn't want a lot. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this all mixed. It is so um, beautiful that Rockefeller, you've heard of oysters Rockefeller or, well, this is what they mean when you make something Rockefeller. Oh, and we've got some, I've got a half, 
of sweet onion that I sauteed. Okay. Did I tell you that? Yeah. All right. So if that cream cheese is really soft, then what you're going to end up with is that. Okay. I know it doesn't look like much right now, but honey, <laughs> when it goes in that oven and melt down real good, this might be a whole <laughs> eight ounces. Okay. Yeah, let's just call it a, a call it what it is, Chad. Don't don't try to be cute with it. Um, you can add a touch of salt if you want to. It's not necessary. Hey Mel. <laughs> um, because you know, you've got the cream cheese in here, which, you know, has a good amount of salt. So just, just kind of monitor. All right. Now this needs to be real cold. Okay. So now that we've got this Rihanna dip made, our wine is in here. Everything is in there. Um, I'm saying this to, in, in, you know, reassure myself. <laughs> Everything is in here? Yes, everything is in here. Okay. All right. So this is your Rockefeller sauce. Well, Rihanna sauce. And instead of, I told you, instead of the uh, absinthe or Pernod, you can use white wine like I did. Just let it reduce down, burn the alcohol off. Um, or you can not use any white wine at all, but it is a Rihanna. So, you know, it's gotta be sexy. It's gotta be sexy, baby. Okay. All right. There we go. That's our Rockefeller sauce. Let's get this in the fridge for a few. Um, now if I had made that ahead of time, then it would be nice and almost solid. Um, and all I would have to do is just stuff it inside that steak. But I wanted to show you the process so you'd have an idea all right the oven is hot our skillet is hot let's get a little bit of i'm gonna mix this now for my that smoke came off of it it's so good so let's add some grapeseed oil and then let's add some butter all right that's like ooh. I just love it. That's maybe a tablespoon and a half, okay, of butter. Because that's how you do a good steak. All right. Get it nice and hot. Um, try not to let it brown because, remember, it's going in the oven. I, it's going to brown a little bit, but, you know, don't. Um, I should be cutting that now. Hold on. Like this in the trash. All right, so we got this lovely Angus ribeye, and we're just gonna go ahead and um, slice it in the center. We want to get some good browning on this steak, and this gives me a chance to kind of uh, use this one. Yeah, I need something with some teeth. Um, I didn't let this marinate a long time. Oh yeah, that's nice. So that butter has, I'm going to show you in a little bit. It has a nice kind of light caramel color, which is great. Okay. You don't have to butterfly it all the way. I'm leaving it kind of like a pocket because I want to as much of the stuffing to stay in as possible. Some of it is going to pour out as it's in the oven, but don't worry about it. So let's get just a little salt on the inside of that. Not too much because what's going on the inside is, you know, already has a good amount of salt. So with this, we've got the, um, all I did with this ribeye was, um, <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Hey, thanks for sharing. <laughs> I appreciate it. All right. So all I did with this steak, not a lot. Salt, pepper, olive oil. That's it. Don't, in this case, do not do the most. Okay. You really don't have to. I probably need to 
but I don't know. I'm going to let that fat kind of caramelize. So let me show you the butter. Beautiful kind of, I know, there it is. Okay, nice, perfect. Go ahead and lay it in there. Nice, quick sizzle. All right, make sure it's way up. Get some mushrooms going. Uh, you can leave them whole however you want, but, you know. I think I'm going to wait to put the mushrooms in. What I am going to do is put the, um, some peppers. I'll have that recipe for you if you want. Um, the Rockefeller. <laughs> okay. Let's get a few peppers. Okay, oven is already on. 400 is nice and hot. Okay, I'll crank this up some more. Um, don't lift that steak. Don't lift it. Don't even think about it for a, a good four or five minutes. Okay? Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Do something constructive with your time. But leave that steak alone. Okay? All right, what we want is some nice crust crusting is going on. All right, that's the flavor. All right, so don't, don't peek at it, don't do nothing. Just let it let it work. All right. I love these little peppers, but they are pain in the cut sometimes. So I leave, I just kind of have them. And that way they cook down and kind of melt down and then they you know, the nice and you're gonna like. All right, the peppers. All right, let that go for a few more minutes. And while that's going, um, thank you. Um, whew, heavy week, heavy week. Uh, I think also this week, Bob Saget, well, last week, Bob Saget, um, Daddy White, life is short. Life is short. If, if this season has not taught you <laughs> anything, is that we don't have time to wait. We don't. And I know that is a, that's a key for mine because when I feel like my time is being wasted, hey, Don Sandra, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Look, she over here drinking water and minding her business. Yes, it is. Um, most of the time. Um, oh, I need to put this in. Put this in. Too short. Too short. Oh, so like I was saying, this is one of the things that came out during um, my therapy. But I feel like my time is being wasted or somehow take it for granted, then I get real irritated. Ooh, I get really irritated. Because I feel like, and this is my own struggle, but I feel like, you know, I should have stuffed it first. I forgot. I'm sorry. I feel like, stuff it first. Please. Don't worry. I'm going to keep that going. That's, that's doing fine. Um, yeah. It just, I feel like I I wasted time. You know, there were times in my life where I, I definitely could have been doing some more productive things. And, you know, I'm, what I said to my therapist was that I feel like I'm grieving time loss. Like the, the things I could have done. There's nothing I can do about that. Okay. I know that. Um, but you still grieve for those things because of, you know, you, you had this idea of what you want and what you think you could have inserted in this point in time, you know. Um but 
I know it's a process. So that's why I say, you know, I knew there were going to be some days um, when, you know, <laughs> therapy was going to be like, oh, God, not again. Another revelation. So, oh, go ahead and give us some good stuff because some of it's going to spill out. So even if you feel like you're overstuffing it, you're stuffing it this time. Okay. So give it a good stuff. Okay. And now that you've given it a good stuff, that's what I was looking for on my own. Um, I'm not too big. I don't have any more toothpicks. What do I do? Okay, I'm going to flip it on the other side now. Emma? No, 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 no. I'm trying to think if I have. I've got something. I've got skewers. I know this is going to be crazy, but i got to find a way to tie it off, you know? And skewers are just long ass toothpicks. Anyway. Okay. Okay. All right. Boom. Shaka laka shaka laka shaka boom. 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 Come on, she's resourceful. <laughs> Look, tired of complaining about what I ain't got. Just find a way to get get it done. Okay, okay, hold on. Hold on. Honey. There we go. There we go. Oh my God, this beef is so freaking tender. Already. Okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay, we just want some crust. Okay, that's all. We just want some crust. So you get that ground just like that we're gonna put it in the oven and stretch the second I gotta keep everything from falling out okay mm. all right <laughs> a couple of those out because I know it's, it's, some of it's going to pour out anyway. Um, but stuff it ahead of time when it's nice and raw. Before you put it on. Okay, so now that we've got a nice crust on one side, let's go ahead and put it in the oven. I would say for about mm, 15 minutes or so. Thank you so much, Melvin. <laughs> Thank you. It smells amazing. It really does. Okay, so I need this I hot still, but let's go ahead and get this in the oven, pour things down. Okay. So it's in the oven. That is our steak Rihanna. Um, it's not Rockefeller. Um, no, I'm not gonna change the name since she, even though she's not the richest, but she wants the richest, she definitely the baddest. So <laughs> honey, it's Rihanna for me, okay. All right. Cheers, everybody. Um, thank you, Theo. Thank you. Um, so yesterday I spoke with mom and dad, my very dear friend um, that I grew up with. His mom used to drive us to band practice. Oh, gosh. I mean, if we needed somebody to pick us up. She was there. Ms. Jefferson, uh, we're going to miss you. My heart goes out to all of her kids. Clifton, honey, you know, love you much. And uh, we're here. We're here. Um, and it was just yet another reminder that we don't have a lot of time to waste. We don't. You know, we're looking at people, you know, some of the greatest, not that, you know, the greatest, <laughs> you know, leave or anything like that, but, you know, it, 
it just seems that maybe that's just because I'm <laughs> almost into my fifties. People are leaving here quickly, quickly. Um, so love the people you can while you can. Okay. Um, don't waste a minute if you can help it. Don't. Don't. Um, I'm gonna do three shrimp. That's all I want. Just three three shrimp is going to finish this meal off. Um, and the way I'm gonna do it is very simple. So um, don't worry, I'm gonna come back to all of that in a little bit. So I have a little lemon zest. This is the zest of one regular size lemon. Okay. Um, here's the lemon. Just so you know, I'm not playing tricks on you. This is the lemon. All right. <laughs> okay, so let's get that cut. Let's get some, um, ooh, I got to show you my Friday feature. Some oil in there, whatever oil you want, yeah. Whatever oil you want. Okay. And... Let's do the juice of a lemon. All right, so now we got a nice little drizz here. Okay. All right, this is just lemon, a little grapeseed oil, and a little. And this. <laughs> All right, little salt. All right, so I've got these three shrimp. Nothing fancy. Um, I just want shrimp with my steak. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna hit it with just a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Salt. You only need about three minutes for the shrimp. Okay. But that um, that oil, that lemon oil that we just made, um, may, I forgot to add the Dijon to the um, to my Rihanna sauce. That's good. Okay, so I'm gonna see if I can get a little butterfly action here. Just to make it cute, you know. This this is the presentation factor right here. Okay, this is this is for me, not for you. <laughs> you can have shrimp or not. I know some people have allergies, but let me tell you, this meal right here, this is a good sexy little um boo thing meal. If you want to do a boo thing meal for you know boo thing season coming up, <laughs> honey, this is it. All right. Friday feature, are you ready? <laughs> okay. You want to save that <laughs> Sugar Pearls extra virgin olive oil of yours. You tired of like trying not to use too much, almost using too much. I didn't get you these oil bottles, okay? So right now they are only $10 and they're on my site, um, The Kitchen Collective. You can also go to uh, sugarpearlsonline.com, but they're only 10 bucks. And now it takes about 20 days to get to you. That's why the markup on these things are not high at all, okay? Because I know it takes a little while to get to you, but that's why I try to make sure that, you know, the stuff is well-priced, okay? So these, I say olive oil bottles, but you can put vinegar in these, um, whatever. I use them for oil. This is basil. This is garlic. Um, and the, no, this is, this is rosemary. <laughs> so I put an R on the bottom. I put a G on the bottom of this one. This is the garlic. This is the rosemary. So this rosemary and this garlic oil, the Sugar Pearls Extra Virgin Olive Oil, now it gets to go an even longer way because I've got these handy barbecue sprayer bottles, okay? 
All right, so, um, see that? Did you see that? Okay, so let me do, let me try to show you. Uh, I don't want to spray it on that, but you know what I'm going to do. I'll, I'll show you after I cook it, okay? How about it? <laughs> All right, let's add a little knob of butter to this. That's very hot. I'm going to turn it down some. <laughs> Sorry, I got that right under your nose, okay? Just let it do what it's going to do. Ah! Okay. Are you still there? Your toes are on. <laughs> I want to be kind of temperamental tonight. I noticed this one is, um, this eye is starting to give me more problems now. I think the other about to die, but that's okay. I'm gonna ride it till the wheels come off. Oh. Been a long time since that happened, huh? Hold on. Live show. Does it feel like it's getting louder? I feel like any day now. Five minutes later. Oh, mercy. It's finally off. Hi, welcome to Sugar Pearls. Let me close my door before somebody come in on me. God. Sorry, neighbors. It's a live show. The shrimp are done. The steak is done. That's the good news. That alarm went off so long that you forgot I was actually making dinner. Well, uh, it's wrapping up, so. Okay, good. Ooh, so let me show you the, uh, the sprayer. All right, 10 bucks, spray, you can get it in um, gold, like brushed gold, silver, or um, rose gold, okay? Depending on the motif of your kitchen. All right, spray, look how much oil I'm saving. I'm not pouring it everywhere. I'm not adding too much. I'm, it's targeted right where I need it, okay? Um, the bottle is glass. The top is plastic, but it's got this nice pump spray, so you get just a little bit um, or as much as you want, but very, very controlled for you, okay? So if you're trying to hold on to your uh, sugar pearls, yes, you got some rosemary left, I do. You got a little bit of garlic left, I do. And now I'm going to have some more because I'm not, you know, overusing it um but can you really overuse olive oil but is that good all right Ooh -wee -wee -wee. oh my goodness this is beautiful Ooh. look at that look at it look at it mm -hmm. let that rest for 20 minutes or so and you can dive in so this is a steak rockefeller rihanna 
for two people or just me <laughs> or just me honey we're gonna cut it in just a little bit i know i i should let it rest but i'm gonna just do a little bit because i want you to you know see me dive in because honey i'm ready to cuddle <laughs> with me and watch movies and stuff okay and i've got these delicious um uh, lemons so you can have this on the side but honey that lemon oil that you just made with the lemon zest the half a lemon juice and your oil bomb just put it there lay it on top you know presentation is everything for me okay so but we gotta have a nice pretty plate and just sit your scrumpses right on top of there okay now if you watch in here hey i can actually bring you along this camera is fixed so i can't move it but i can show you hi lori <laughs> i can show you um a little bit okay so this is what we got we've got um some fresh portobellas on the side i didn't feel like i needed any potatoes or anything like that um i'm just about to smash like so what else can i say this is what we have ladies and gentlemen your steak rihanna mm. all those goodies um it's a dip now if you want to dip your shrimp in it like you thank you thank you thank <laughs> thank you thank you yes 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 honey i told you we elevated this year elevated look at that Isn't that gorgeous that is a beautiful hunk of meat yes yes lord and i thank you and Mm, I'm just so ready to devour this that I'm not going to wait the full time I should for it to rest. You want to give your juices and all that flavor that you, you know, spent time pouring into this dish a chance to redistribute. And we didn't over season our ribeye because this is an Angus steak. Um, it's it was nice and tender to the touch. I don't want to do the most with it. I want to taste the meat. I don't want to pile it with a whole bunch of powder seasonings and stuff. Just very simple. Salt, pepper, a little oil, some garlic and basil. That was it. So we got that. You know, it wouldn't be sugar pearls if I didn't, <laughs> if I didn't make you mad by eating in front of you. And you. And you back there. Of course I have to. Of course. Okay, so um, I just I just wish. Hold on, turn it down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Was it worth the fire alarm? Was it worth it? I certainly hope so. Mm. All right. Um, Put a knife. We don't need no steak and I just, ooh, oh. Tender. So we're going to take some of that uh, Rihanna dip. Mm. This is your Rockefeller, okay? You can do, do it on oysters, whatever you want, honey. But this right here. It, and if, if your boot thing is you for boot season, then tch, that's when you want to do the most. Take care of you. Thank you for my friends for watching. And thank you for this delicious meal that I'm about to devour in front of them, Lord. I hope they get to make it just as good. Ooh, here we go.
you a fool for this. An absolute fool. An absolute fool. Y'all know I don't eat a lot of red meat. But that's one you got to do before dying. Hate to be morbid, but you should definitely make it. I'm going to give the shrimp. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Melvin, for saying a proper grace. Because I was using using God against y'all. I'm sorry. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Okay. Mm. <laughs> mm. I lost my um I'm back. I'm back. Sorry. I don't know what happened. It just stopped. Maybe because I'm coming up on an hour. So I did not intend to keep y'all this long, but I clearly I need to go close my door and light some more candles up in here because we about to have a hallelujah good night. Mm. Good night. You better make it. Mm -hmm. Now I got to stitch this video together with the other one. And then, yeah, it's going to be a long weekend. Hopefully I can be in doing it. All right. I love you. I thank you for watching. Remember, life is short. Don't allow people to manipulate your time and take your time for granted. It is valuable. It is important. Clifton, Nisi, Tisha, love y'all so much. Going to miss your mom. And if we can be here for anything that's within our power that we can do, um, as you go along this <laughs> unimaginable journey, um, we're with you. Hold on. Hold on. And we love you very much. So thank y'all for watching. I don't take for granted that you do. Um, I hope that you'll share. I hope that you'll get that. Get your spray a bottle so you can save your Sugar Pearls extra virgin olive oil um, and you're not using so much. So get your sprayer bottle. It comes easy to pump. Ten bucks. A nice, beautiful stream of oil direct where you need it. <laughs> so good. It's so freaking good. That was the garlic. Honey. All right. I got to go. Thank you. Um. I'll see you on the next show. Remember, I love you. And I hope you love me back. Bye.